The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs, which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, on the outside you appear righteous, but inside you are filled with hypocrisy and evil doing. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the memorials of the righteous. And you say, If we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have joined them in shedding the prophets' blood. Thus you bear witness against yourselves that you are the children of those who murdered the prophets. Now fill up what your ancestors measured out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Father. <coughs> For our reflection today in our Gospel, the Lord said to the scribes and Pharisees, You hypocrites, woe to you. You hypocrites. You are like whitewashed tombs, the tombs, beautiful outside, but inside, full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth. The Lord challenges us today to look at the inside of our hearts. What's the inside? And sometimes we are too good out on the outside of our appearance, of our actions, of our words. Nice clothes, nice makeup. <laughs> But inside, full of, the Lord said, full, full of every kind of filth. So, we reflect, we, we meditate, examine our hearts, our conscience, so that it can be, it can be translated into our external day-to-day -day lives in our actions in our words also there's the old latin uh, phrase i for, forgot who said ex abundantia cordis os locutor from the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks so if our hearts are abundant with goodness and kindness and love and charity, the mouth speaks, it will be translated into our actions. And so as we continue to, to live out our day-to-day lives, though full of challenges and, and problems and shortcomings, we continue to examine also our hearts, what's inside. So that we will be in the end of our lives, the Lord will say to us, Blessed are you, not woe to you. Amen. Amen. Amen.